We have decided to settle for nothing short of his kingdom come and his will be done. We have decided to live free, yet be slaves for the dirty and hurting and dying. We have decided to respond to the longing and groaning of creation with love. We have decided that we're a battleship, not a cruise ship. An army, not an audience. Missionaries, not club members. We've decided that our suffering is nothing compared to the glory ahead of us. We've decided that for us to live is Christ and to die is gain. We have decided to be radical lovers and outrageous givers. We have decided to be Holy Spirit filled, Holy Spirit led, and Holy Spirit empowered. Anything else doesn't work for us. We have decided just making it to heaven is not our goal. We've decided that staying the same is not an option. There's a real radicalness that's in this generation and they really want to give themselves over to something larger than themselves. All the movement that we're talking about is young people that are seeing what's taking place in the world, um, all over the world, whether it's America, whether it's other nations, they're seeing injustice, uh, they're seeing um, you know, poverty, things like that, and they're, they're knowing that there's only one answer, one cure for all that, and that's Jesus Christ. That's a relationship with God. Most revivals have started with a younger generation. There is a return to the type of radical lifestyle that Jesus is trying to get across. Predominant amount of people that are part of this rising cry that the Lord is raising up globally are young adults. And such movements are definitely going to change the shape of Christianity in the 21st century. All I am is because of you, is because of your love. that makes the, the radical the radical youth different is that they're not satisfied and they want they're not satisfied where, with where they are in God they they want more and they must have more of God and they have to go into the depths of the Lord so I think that I'm just I'm desperate for real life and real love and I have to find I have to find that the lamb who is slain must get the like he deserves the reward of his suffering like he deserves to be glorified because of what he did like god deserves to be glorified um because of who jesus was how he lived and how he died young christians are sick of it we're sick and tired of this negativity we're sick and tired of this idea that you know you can only get the quick fix you can only get the feeling of temporary satisfaction you can only get the instant gratification that nothing lasts you know and there's a huge idea that nothing does last you know, but people fail to believe, people fail to realize that the God that created us is forever. The God that created us is eternal, and that same God loves us. My name is Ryan Gibbons. I'm uh, 24 years old. I uh, just recently got out of the Navy in April. And I'm living here in Richmond, Virginia. I got married in May. And uh, yeah, I do a lot of stuff with my church. Generation Now is held at a house of prayer and it's the youth ministry, uh, junior high, high school, and college age. I don't know, it's my heart, you know, and it's really, really amazing to be part of it. And there's teaching of the Word of God, and there's, there's a heart truly in all of us to see young people saved. Generation Now is really kind of taken hold of what is ours, you know, not letting our age limit us, but in fact letting that be a catalyst or letting that be something that really pushes us to excellence. I, I really want to be a pastor, be it in a prison or in the depths of wherever, or in a, in a thriving church, in a youth ministry, wherever God puts me. That was not my first time speaking, that was probably, I think my sixth or seventh time doing it, but that was really my first time doing it in the sense of you know, kind of on the road to what I eventually want to do. Um, Southern California is where I'm from, and I came out here and heard people saying y'all, and time, and ride. And there was this magical place called Cracker Barrel that I had no idea what it was, and I went there, and I, and I was just, it was amazing. 
It was incredible. But I hate grits. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cannot stand them. Thank you. You know, it was a it was an awesome experience to get up there and to preach and to minister and to, to speak my heart. You know. I'm, I'm, in my mind, I'm flipping out, right? I'm losing it. But then I stop. I stop, and I'm just like, okay. God talks to me. He says, Ryan, yeah. <laughs> Do one or two things here. You either get angry, upset, frustrated, just blown out of your mind, just 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 lose it. And still be stranded on the side of the road in a hot day in a sweater on 95. Okay, there's option A. Option B is this. Option B is this. You can either relax, praise me that you're still alive, praise me that you're not on the side of the road by the sewage plant on a hot day. Like it ain't man. Oh my gosh, that would have been horrible. I dang you lose it driving through there enough. It's just cool. Oh, it's, it's horrible. So you can either freak out and lose it and still be stranded on the side of the road or just relax and be grateful that you're alive. Be grateful you made it this far home and it didn't happen two minutes on the highway. Hi, my name is Kevin Nagashi. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock and I'm heading down to uh, Shaka Bottom to go to Raihop. Um, Raihop stands for Richmond Interna International House of Prayer. Um, it is something that I've been going to for the, for a while now. Um, it I go to the one that happens from Friday nights from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Saturday, so just for two hours. I love what Rihab does because they 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 usher in people and they let people experience that constantly. That um, he would be glorified in the moment. That he would be um, acknowledged as God. That he would be lifted up. That his name would be said. That it's your name is above all names, that you are, um, that you're holy, that you're greater than this world, that you're greater than any of the gods of this world. Lord, come down tonight. Teach us new worship, Lord. We're asking you to show us. Open our eyes, Lord God. We ask for your anointing to come in a powerful way, Lord God. We ask you, Lord, in Jesus' name. It's not a quiet, it is a happening place. It is a lot going on. 